Hello. So today we're going to be sh showing some OH finger tricks. First one, or well, before we go to first one, we're going to like show you how to hold one handed. So you hold it by with this thumb on these two pieces, like so, and then slightly diagonal, like that, like so. Yeah, and then here you put these two parallel to these two. As you can see, like so. Make sure you you never do you two moves or else your finger will be misplaced. And the first finger trick is a U prime. So you just do U prime with your index. Next is the R. So so what you do is have your finger slightly slanted diagonally so that your pinky can reach out. Maybe move your two fingers down a little bit so that you can do the R. And what you need is like this pointed bit, like pointing towards this knuckle. Like this knuckle. So that you can do R moves. Now you got the basic finger tricks for R and U prime. We're gonna do R prime and U. So there are a few finger tricks for U and R prime. So there's two for each. So let's see for U. So for U, you can push. It requires more strength. We can get used to it. Like that. So a cool finger trick is like push and then R prime. The other R prime can, I mean, sorry, the other U prime, or well, U can be like that. So you reach out and then do that. And then for R prime, you can either push and then Use these two fingers and then bring them in so that this this edge part touches here, like so. Like so. And then the other R prime is where you bring out your pinky. So what you do is bring out this knuckle to the front of the cube. In front of the cube and then do that now for F moves um for F prime you could bring out your uh index and then do this and then put your pinking here so that the S layer doesn't move like that so what you do is use this knuckle and then tuck it like so and then do F or you could just set it on the table and line it and you could do F like that and then line it for some reason physics doesn't work like this so doing F prime like this works so like sitting on the table and then doing F sorry my voice is like really weird now for F, for the normal F, you could either do, you hold your like entire, so like your pinky and this finger and then doing this, like dragging it. You could also do F like this, or F prime like this, but that's like weird. Now you have all the basic finger tricks. Well, look, we're gonna combine them in this T pump. So first move is the basic R, U prime, R prime, U prime. And you could push because your pinky is down the bottom. And then here you could just like push with this knuckle here, like this. And then you could do R prime like this. I didn't mention this, but it really depends. 
and where your finger is. So if your hand is like this, then you could just do alpine like that. Which is what I use. And then U R prime U prime and then R U R prime F prime. Okay, you saw nothing. Okay, now for D moves. So when you do D moves like this, you just like misalign. Wait, no, not misalign. Re grip slightly, and then do D. For B moves, the same as D moves, or same as U moves, just by putting your ring finger down here and then let go, let it drop, you move and then use this finger and your pinky and your thumb to push up. So like this. So you bring your ring, drop it, catch it, be moves, then and then use this finger and pinky, use your thumb and then back home grip. So like this. B moves and then pinky and thumb. Easy. Now for D2, you could either do the OH, I mean the A poem D2, or you could just like if the neck, if the last move was a U. Then you could just like quickly come back here, hold the edge, and then do D2 like this. It's if it's easier. Now if the next move is the if the next move is the U, do your D moves and then bring your middle finger to the center and then drag your finger like this and do your U move. Or drag this way and then do the push or drag this way and then do the flick and there we go that's all the finger tricks and I'm gonna be doing this example solve of what finger tricks you should do I'm not that good I am like sub 25 I rarely get sub 20s so here you can insert this orange into here into here and an X cross so do this so standard U prime R prime doing that R and then rotating doing this and what I'll do is do F prime and S at the same time but doing the S do just hold that and then you make an X cross and here we have this edge, so we'll just do this by pushing. And then since I did a push, the next move is a R prime. Okay, let's do something here. So every time you have an R prime next after a U, then always do the push and then R prime like that. So and then U2, since my hand is like here, we we'll quickly do a U2. So yeah. And then do that by rotating and then bring your thing here and then rotate normally i would use a table but i'm just showing you finger tricks so here we have this pair so we just bring this since my pinky is here i'll just do that next pair is this so for l moves so you could just rotate slightly and push like this so bring your hand your palm facing up and then do this by pushing or you could just do this using your knuckle and pushing like that and then for M moves you could either do R prime R so do wide moves and then regular moves but I find that we're doing the um Doing M prime is like weird. So for M prime, I'll just sit on the table, put this corner like this, and doing that. But that's like weird. So I'll just 
do this when you're rotating. That might be like really weird, or you could just rotate first and do M. But in this situation, I'm I need to like do M. So we just do. So I didn't say this before, but every time for M, like that, you do, you bring all your fingers to the side here. To the left side, then do a uh, um R prime like that using your this finger pushing like that, and your pinky is set up. So do do that, and then continue rest. But for M moves and prime moves, uh, what you do is do this. So push push just like an E perm so yeah or you could learn better owls like the H perm and do R and you move so just then I'll try get it up so here it is back again so I'll just do this ring pinky U prime like that, and then R using this hand. Well, that's a wide R. And then U, and then you could just put this back here. R, well, this is supposed to be this finger. My bad. R prime like that. That, and then rotate like that. Sometimes what it moves, I'll just do this. If I need to, but normally I'll just learn algs, better algs that are like R U F or R U or R U L. So here we have this old case. We could do it like this. Just then I did M. Sorry. So just then I did M and then the rest. Okay, V pump. This is not. This is not fake. I actually did not plan this out. So for V perm, the rotation one, you do R prime, U, R prime, U prime, then rotate R prime like that, F, but you set it down to the table and then do F like so, preventing the S layer moving. So R2. U prime, R prime, U, R prime, then using this to push, that, push, and then cool trick here, you could actually do U, like this. Now, you could do, in most, in most situations, you like, have to do this weird move. So, for example, if you need to do this case, but you need to rotate and do U, you, you could just do that, and then R prime. And here's me doing this all fast. 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, X plus. Ooh, repair. So here I'll just do this, and then this pair, and then this pair, like double rotation, and then do that, and then this pair, like I showed you earlier, and move like that, up them like that, like that. Okay, see ya, bye.